the Chiefs in their own hometown Super Bowl. And, you know, it's really rare for an NFL player to even reach the Super Bowl. That's really sort of a crowning achievement uh, when you really think about it. But it's even more unique to have to face your former team in the Super Bowl. Kevin Lewis joining us right now with the story of Really, Kevin, this is kind of like a double agent story. So this guy used to play for the Chiefs. Now he plays for the Bucks. I'm hoping he maybe knows some secrets in the playbook. What do you think? That would be best case scenario, no question. Maybe if he had a thumb drive with a couple of the Chiefs offensive plays, I don't think the Buccaneers <laughs> defense would mind that. It would be Buccaneers tackle Raheem Nunez Rochez in his third season with Tampa Bay after spending his first three NFL seasons with the Chiefs. Now, he does a lot of dirty work on the Buccaneers defensive line. I don't know if any, there's any espionage, but the dirty work up front with the big fellas in the trenches. He said it was going to be like a dream come true to play against his former team in the big game, but told me that's just one piece of the puzzle when we talk about dealing with how COVID-19 changed the entire season for every team and every player in the league. This whole season right here just shows how much we're able to battle and overcome, not only in football, but in life, because it took discipline and it took, you know, commitment to be where we're at now. So this season means so much more to me than just football, but I love being here. <laughs> Now, when asked who deserves credit for how the Bucks' defense has been playing during their seven-game win streak, Nacho said defensive coordinator Todd Bowles, and then he listed every player on defense by name and number. Now, the Bucks have forced seven turnovers in their three playoff games so far this postseason. They'll have to solve Patrick Mahomes and company if they want to repeat that performance on Sunday. I don't have any new information on whether he has any secret documents from head coach Andy <laughs> Reid or not. We're at the Bucks team facility, I'm Kevin Lewis on Spy Watch for ABC Action News. <laughs>